guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck and suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2020 bmw x2 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below wanted to take a spin in this one because this is a very good looking suv slash crossover whichever you want to call it and it's relatively affordable too and there is actually one major change for the 2020 x2 this year as well so what do you say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2020 x2 first one being the s drive 28i starting at thirty six thousand four hundred dollars then you have the x drive 28i starting at thirty eight thousand four hundred dollars and the m 35i starting at $46,450 and so having said that you can probably imagine there are two different engine options to go along with those trim levels first engine option is going to belong to the two trim levels that have the 28i in them and powering those two trims is going to be a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder 228 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 258 pound feet of torque available at around 1450 rpm power either sent to the front wheels for the s drive or all wheels for the x drive through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters only if you go with the m sport package for either of those two so that's how you're going to get that but nonetheless less zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.3 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 24 in the city 32 highway for the front wheel drive configuration 24 city 31 highway for the all-wheel drive so really you just drop one mile per gallon on the highway with the all-wheel drive which makes me think everybody is going to buy the all-wheel drive version of this one but nonetheless before we do any kind of acceleration in the x2 i did want to mention there are some drive modes that come standard on the x2 that drive mode button is located directly to the left of the shifter and they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and put it in sport and it did immediately downshift for me, so it is gonna hold the RPMs at a much higher level, giving me more power on demand. So that's always a good thing, especially when you're merging onto the highway. But having said that, what do you guys say? Let's do a quick little acceleration here in the X2, and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, here you go, you guys. Let's get onto a straightaway, kind of here, and let's go. Okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Definitely a little bit of turbo lag at the beginning, but after it kicks in, dang, it pulls hard. Definitely a very nice acceleration after you get past the little bit of turbo lag at the beginning at least. But that was fun. To go along with that acceleration, as always, though, braking is equally important. And so when it comes to braking on the X2, you will find four-wheel ventilated disc brakes, which is all pretty standard. But really, the impressive number when it comes to the X2, as far as braking goes, is the 60 to 0 stopping distance comes in at 111 feet, which is insanely impressive. For example, the X1 does it in, I think, 122 feet. So this does it quite substantially quicker than that. So it's a very good number when it comes to 60 to zero stopping distance at least. And having said that, having to turn right there, there is no brake pedal delay or anything like that. So as you can imagine, braking feel is perfectly fine in the X2. That touching on suspension and handling though, strut type front suspension, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, gas pressurized shock absorbers, and let's touch on the M35i trim a little bit. That one's actually gonna add an M Sport suspension, which is actually optional on the 28i. It goes for $400 if you wanted to still get that. M Sport steering as well, but having said that, if you put it in the Sport steering mode on the 28i that we have here today, it still has a very nice weight to it, definitely on the head heavier side of things, which is hard to find in SUVs these days. So I'm definitely appreciating the steering feel in the X-Drive 28i that we have here today. So that's definitely nice. Ride quality is not pretty much as expected. You can feel a little bit more of the road than let's say the X5, which I kind of recently got done reviewing here. But having said that, it is kind of a compact crossover SUV. So it's pretty much as expected as far as the ride quality goes. Cabin noise is kind of the same thing. You hear a little bit more of the road noise when you're on the highway. Not hearing much of it right now because I'm in a residential neighborhood hood going kind of slow but still it is again par for the course i guess you could say so really no issues there for me either touching on visibility this is where it's eh, i gotta say subpar for the course visibility is definitely not all that great but that's because of the shape 
it's a good looking crossover SUV. The roof line is tapered down at the back. So whenever that happens, you are not going to get as good a visibility as let's say the BMW X1. That is gonna be more of a boxier shape. That's gonna give you a little better visibility if you were comparing those two. But having said that, you still get rain sensing windshield wipers here on the X2, meaning when the X2 detects any kind of rainfall or mist, it's gonna automatically turn on the windshield wipers. One less thing you have to worry about there. And there is a head up display it actually comes with the premium package that goes for $1,400, by the way, but that's going to project your speed and the speed limit up on your windshield to better help you keep your eyes on the road. So once again, that's going to assist with visibility as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 BMW X2. All right, here she is, you guys. The 2020 BMW X2 finished in mineral gray metallic. In case anybody was curious, that is a $550 option, by the way. But if you liked it, that's what the color is called. So let's go ahead and start up front on this one now. Up front in typical BMW fashion, you have that active kidney front grille, LED headlights to the sides with cornering lights. And of course, those headlights do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they do turn on automatically for you. So one less thing you have to worry about there. LED daytime running lights, also standard LED fog lights as well. And did want to mention the front end is going to differ slightly depending on which setup that you go with. You have matte black accents if you go with any of the 28 eye trims that you are currently looking at right now, or body colored accents if you go with the M35i. However, they are less apparent in this mineral gray metallic exterior, but I did want to mention that nonetheless. And make our way to the side on this one. Satin aluminum window surrounds coming standard. Black window surrounds coming with the M Sport X package or the M35i rear privacy glass coming standard. Then when it comes to the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will come heated with integrated turn signals actually. All of that coming standard across the board. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch Y spoke alloy wheels is the standard configuration for the 28i trims 19 inch double five spoke wheels coming with the m35i as expected but perhaps my favorite part about the x2 at least is the bmw logo found on the c pillar in the back there quite often you always find them in the front and the back of vehicles but you almost never find them on the c pillar in the back that's quite cool. It's definitely unique, something you don't see that often, which is why I particularly absolutely love it. So I, of course, did want to mention that matte black side skirts coming standard. That's what we have right now. Body colored and gray accenting on the side skirts if you go with the M35i or the M Sport X package. Did want to also mention if you were looking for roof rails on the X2, that is a $250 option. They are satin aluminum roof rails too, if you wanted to go that route. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one. Shark fin antenna coming standard, of course, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light around back there rear window wiper as well of course to the sides you have led taillights as expected and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with very bright chrome tips you gotta love it so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip It's been now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear lift gate let me start by saying the cool way to do it is the bmw logo located on that rear hatch actually doubles as a way to open that rear hatch and it is a power lift gate by the way so you can use the key fob if you wanted to or you can simply just kind of press it in and it opens up itself kind of like volkswagens do except you have to lift up on these and this is the power lift gate. So that's the difference, I guess, but it's pretty cool. Nonetheless, once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 21.6 cubic feet behind that second row. With that second row folded down, that comes in at 50.1 cubic feet. So it's still more cubic feetness. I know that's not a word than the Mercedes-Benz GLA, but not quite as much as the BMW X1. So it depends on what you're looking for, I guess. But nonetheless, you do have a 12 volt power outlet back there. There is some cargo lighting and some in-floor storage. All of that pretty much as expected for this. Then make your way to the rear leg room. That is going to come in at 36.7 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there there is also a rear seat center armrest back there rear ventilation 12 volt power outlet 
for those rear passengers as well. And there's also rear ventilation back there and two phone charging ports actually as well if you wanted to use them. But make our way to the front seats. Eight-way power adjustable front seats come standard. They do come with memory settings, two-way power adjustable driver seat bolsters as well. That is one of my favorite parts about really the BMW X1 and the X2. Those power side bolsters are absolutely amazing. They really hug you in place regardless of your body shape because they're completely adjustable. It's so amazing. Definitely holds you in place in the back roads if you wanted to have a little extra fun there. Heated front seats go for $550 as a standalone option unless you get the premium package, in which case they come with that. Heated steering wheel comes with that package as well. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. You can get it heated like I just mentioned. That is optional. When it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have lock, unlock, that button to pop the rear hatch. And by the way, the lock button is the BMW logo located in the middle of the key there in case anybody was curious, but you actually don't even need the key. Um, Kind of do, just leave it in your pocket though. It is all keyless entry. So simply just walk up to the X2 here, put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. It's simple once started up, when it comes to the gauges, you do have your speedometer on the left, tachometer is on your right. You also have information like your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. And the drive modes will adjust some of that gauge display up there as well. And it'll let you know what drive mode you're in actually too. But so then when it comes to overall interior quality, anthracite headliner comes standard on the X2. Panoramic moonroof comes with the premium package, which we do have today. So I can show you that, that's pretty cool. Universal garage door opener also coming with the premium package, that's gonna be low located on the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. And that's always a big plus because the alternative is that rattling garage door opener that you stick on the sun visor and that at highway speeds can rattle quite a bit and kind of get annoying. At least that's my personal experience on that. Wireless phone charger can be added for an additional $500. But perhaps my favorite part about the interior quality is the ambient lighting, which can be controlled using the tech display, but there's several different colors, orange, bronze, white, green, blue, lilac. And it just makes this thing look so much cooler at night. It's going to be kind of hard to see here in this video because I'm shooting it at one in the afternoon, so it's still daytime. But at night, this is going to look absolutely freaking amazing. So ambient lighting is my favorite part about the interior quality. But of course, you have soft touch materials everywhere. There's stitched leather up top here. 12 volt power outlet with some storage just in front of the cup holders. Electromechanical parking brake. And as far as the center armrest goes, it's one of the cooler things. It is completely adjustable. It locks into place by like a million different settings, I feel like. So you could really set it high higher or lower. That is one of the cool things I didn't want to forget to mention because that definitely makes cruising in the X2 perhaps on the highway a lot more comfortable than it otherwise would have been. And a lot of SUVs don't come with adjustable armrests like that so that's pretty cool. And you do have some storage in there, phone charger as well so that's definitely nice. But let's now go ahead and make our way to the tech display on the X2 here. 8.8 .8 inch high resolution color touchscreen display comes standard that is the major change for the 2020 X2 because previously the standard setup was actually a 6.5 inch color touchscreen display in 2019. So now for 2020, you have the standard 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display. So that's pretty darn cool up there. You can control it through the touchscreen. Like I said, it is controlled by voice activation as well. There's a circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter. So a bunch of different ways you could check out what's up there. Of course, Bluetooth and audio streaming comes standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, hook your smartphone up to the X2. You have free navigation up there as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. You can also check out the weather up there factory navigation system actually comes standard again you can check out your ambient lighting settings up there that's definitely a big plus drive modes are displayed up there when you switch them up next to the shifter there climate control information and your radio information and here's the fun part for me Let's go ahead and test out the sound system. The standard sound system, by the way, comes with seven speakers, 205 watts. There is an optional Harman Kardon sound system that we don't have today, but I did just test out that same sound system in the X1. It was amazing, ton of bass there. But we do have the standard seven speaker sound system here. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> I had to double check that wasn't the Harman Kardon sound system because that was a ton of bass, well more than I expected. That was actually pretty nice. 
Not quite as good as the Harmon Carden. Bowers and Wilkins is still my favorite sound system of all time, but that was a very nice sound system for the standard setup there. But the last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display at least is when you do put the X2 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera that comes standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. It's the first thing I wanted to mention when it comes to safety. The 2020 BMW X2 is an IIHS top safety pick, which basically says it all right there to start. Front side side curtain airbags come standard. In the back, you have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system also comes standard but there's actually a ton of advanced safety features that come standard on the x2 as well including daytime pedestrian detection frontal collision warning city collision mitigation lane departure warning speed limit recognition automatic high beams and adaptive cruise control as well. And I did want to mention there is a parking assistance package that goes for $200, essentially where the X2 parks itself. So that's out there for you too, if you wanted it. And so when it comes to my final thoughts of the X2, a very good starting price point for a BMW, especially just like the BMW X1. Very fun acceleration minus the slight bit of turbo lag. But I'm telling you, once that kicks in, you're freaking flying. There's absolutely no issues with merging onto the highway. That made it fun once it kicked in. Trade-off with the X2, at least, is probably going to be the rear visibility and i think everybody is going to agree with me there if you wanted more visibility though just simply go with the x1 you're still getting in a bmw at a relatively inexpensive price point maybe not as good looking as the x2 in your opinion but that's kind of the trade-off more of a swoopy roof line less visibility it's how it works but all in all a very solid pick here definitely enjoyed reviewing and driving this one that is about it for this one, you guys, though. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel, after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. I don't know what that was. Sorry. Stay gold. Stay gold.